What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my most requested videos, the top five most popular formations right now. But we're also going to be going through tactics, individual instructions and showing you a couple of tips and tricks, whether you're a beginner or whether you're trying to crack into the top 500 or 100 for the very first time. Check it out. Don't forget to get in touch in the comments below. And if you like the video, please do consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's crack on. All right, so we're going to start with a 4-3-3. Now, there is one formation that is a killer formation. That will be at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. But this 4-3-3 is a very popular one as well, right? Now, before anyone, you know, is going to be getting in the comments and saying like, oh, well, this team is stacked, right? The second formation that we're going to look at is going to be a free-to-play, 100% free-to-play with just a bit of luck for the spins, right? Which, if you have been playing the game for a while, you'll probably have a similar team. The better players you have, obviously if you've got Ronaldo, Son, Messi, Kante, Vieira, all boosters, you're obviously, it goes without saying, you're going to have a better team. You're going to have a better chance at dominating your opponent because these players are ridiculously overpowered, okay? That's not to say that you can't compete, but in this video, we're more focused on the actual play style of the formation and the tactics, the individual instructions, rather than the personnel or the players that you have here. So for example, Sun is gonna have Blitz Curler. That's gonna be a massive advantage. If you do not have Sun, you are at a disadvantage if you have other versions of Sun, especially if you shoot a lot, okay? But this video is gonna lead into the ultimate uh, meta breakdown video. This video is strictly for tactics, managers, formations, and all that good stuff. The positioning of the players within a formation. So this 4-3-3 is very, very simple. You've got your box-to-box -box runner in Kante or Barella or whoever you want to slot in there. You've got your meta three center backs. It can be a mixture of pace, power, speed. You've also got a right back that's essentially going to be uh, another center back. You've got all the defensive capabilities there. And of course, you've got your somebody to linchpin and put the ball into. And Son and Messi, you've got Blitz, Curler, Son. You've also got a shooting Messi there, right? You can mi mix and match this a little bit if you want. You can obviously make Kante into a DMF. The individual instructions for this one, right, just to go through it, because I haven't them done yet, because I want to do them in real time, I have the other ones done. What I would usually do with this is I want to play defensive on one of my DMFs, okay? Especially for the fact that we're playing long ball counter, that is going to mean that we're going to be very, very, very deep when we are defending, okay? So that's why a lot of people use Ten Hag, which again, to preface in this video, you are going to have a slight advantage if you use one of the premium managers. Um... Can you still have the boost and all that with somebody like Valbuena, who plays long ball counter? Of course you can. But for example, Sun, who's got 89 speed with Valbuena, is getting a plus two boost to all his stats, including a plus two to speed. With Ten Hag, of course he's going to have the plus one extra onto speed. So Sun's speed goes from 89 to 90. So that is obviously going to be another thing to talk about later on as well. But as I said, this is just on most popular formations, right? You've got a lot of options there. You've got one ball winner and ball carrier. You've got a deep defensive line there, which we're going to throw on Vieira, um, which we'll put deep line on Vieira to help out in defense. So Vieira is going to slot in. Uh, all this, this formation is about, lads, is getting the ball back in this area of the pitch centrally and then being able to run and pass or a mixture of both up to these three boys. And that's basically it. Now, lads, look, just to interrupt for a sec and say that, like, it's not just like a blasé comment to say, like, oh, you know, if you're playing free to play, you're, you're, you can still compete, right? Obviously, people that have got money spent in the game that are going to be popping in, uh, you know, a few quid here and there to sign the best players, they're going to have the advantage of having a full selection of top ranked players, right, that are going to be trained to the max and that are just seriously overpowered. Now, that doesn't mean you can't compete, right? But also, when you're coming up against a top rank, you're not only playing against a stacked team, you're also playing against a guy that is probably playing more hours than you, that knows the mechanics, the animations, every single thing is fine-tuned because he's playing tons of the game and he has a massive encyclopedia's worth of knowledge in his head when he's playing you. And if something's not working, boom, it's switched out, it's swapped, and good players will really kind of react um, before they're out of the game, right? Whereas other players that play casual will go from 1-0 down to 4-0 down, game over, right? And there's nothing you can do. So a lot of the stuff that you're going to see is obviously going to be determined, I'll repeat it, it is going to be determined by the players that you have. More so for choice and more so for being able to swap things around with sub-tactics, right? So just to keep that there, you can still kind of go with the free-to-play model. But obviously people that spin are going to have a wide selection of players. But it's more than one reason why those type of players dominate. And we'll see that with the top five, as I said, when we look at it, right? All right, let's get back. Okay. Next up, we do have 
the one of the most popular ones which is a tree two tree two okay now again we're using ten hag here but this is going to be a free to play style account right you've got free Jimenez, you've got kunde from the special pack that was there we get a lucky pull for van dyke barella obviously is from the italian selection declan rice mvp um that was available on the nominating contract bellingham the free one messi the free one the free neymar this mbappe and foden were free pulls um with just a bit of luck if you've been playing the game for a while and essentially what you're going to want to do with this one it's all going to be about the sub tactic here which is going to be a slight variation when you are when you have um when you're either chasing a, a ball or you want to be a little bit more attacking right which you're going to switch into a tree there and you're going to have four up front right so that is essentially it you're still going to have pretty much the same build up the individual instructions on that one depending on who you have in your squad i again would put deep line on my dmf one of the dmfs and then if you want to have barella a little bit more attacking you can put attacking on him even though he's going to be a dmf right but it's a simple formation it's a very simple one there you've got free neymar up front and again if you just have better players within this system 3232 is all about dominating and scoring lots of goals next up we do have a 3322 now this is fast becoming one of the most meta setups right I've seen a lot of people use this. We will take a look at the top ranks and what they're using as well at the end of this video to get a thorough uh, analysis of it, right? But this is, again, you have your three center backs. We're kind of getting in now to the ultimate meta formations, right? You've got your three center backs, Tommy Yashu, Rudiger, and Koulibaly. You've got two destroyers in there and a defensive fullback. Don't worry too much about the play styles of these players. Play with defenders that you're just going to get the ball rid of, uh, or rid of the ball when you have it. You can put Marquinhos in there. You can put Tommy into a central position or on the right. These are all going to interchange, right? Now, you've also got a bank of three up here, and you've got your three attacking midfielders. So you're kind of mixing what used to work before last update, what works in this update, and you're welding them together, and you're making a kind of a Frankenstein-style formation. This is uh, used with a uh, quick counter clop, okay? Now, you are go you're going to be a little bit more exposed. That's why you have your tree here. And the individual instructions are going to be very important here. You've got defensive on Vieira. You've got defensive on either Kante or Roberto Carlos. And you've got counter target on Messi as an attacking midfielder. Now, you can also put deep line as well on somebody like Vieira or Kante if you want to, depending on how adventurous you want to be going forward with the ball. You <laughs> Listen... Deep line, there's a lot of complications with deep line, especially when you are dependent on the AI, depends on a lot of stuff, but usually I would leave deep line on with defensive. It will leave a small little gap between your central backs and your DMFs, but it's something that you can manually override very easily, especially if you play the game a lot. You kind of get used to just doing it manually anyway, right? Now, what this formation is all about is the sub tactic, right? Which you'll see is a bit of a weird one. Um, if you don't have Carlos, you don't have a cross and left midfielder, you can literally swap it out uh, for a right midfielder and switch Ribery uh, to a left. So if we don't have Carlos here, we can just put Ribery over on the left or whoever you have in your squad and swap Carlos over to the right midfield. Or also you can put him into a more central position if you want to use somebody to help out a little bit more defensively. And with this, as well on the individual instructions, we're going to have a lot more attack and prowess here. Attacking on Bellingham, attacking on Carlos. And of course, if you want it, you can still have the deep line on one of these boys, okay? But this is when you are throwing everything at your opponent. The kitchen sink, every single thing that you possibly want to have. Now, you'll notice as well that every formation that we have here has got a meta three center back formation, right? I will focus on retraining players for the current meta gameplay style. But essentially what you'll want is to have as much speed as possible on your CBs as well as having all the defensive stats into the 90s. So Koulibaly, 85 speed, rest of his defensive stats, very good 90s. Marquinhos, 90s and 77 speed. So for this system, I would probably swap him out for somebody like Rudy, who's going to have better defensive capabilities and also speed to cover a lot of ground. Because you can only defend one position at a time manually. The AI are doing everything else for you. So your mop-up men, your groundskeeper Willie, is going to be Roberto Carlos and Kante mopping everything up to get it to these top four to be your killers. They're where you, your goals are coming in from, right? Now, we also have another couple of um, formations here, including the top one, right? But this one here, this 4-4-2, is very, very, very popular lately as well, right? It's very star-driven, and what I mean by that is it does depend on what players that you have. We're obviously stacked within this team. Your meta three center back formation again Kunde is masquerading as a right back but essentially he is a right he is a center back obviously he's lacking a little bit of height but he has every other asset that you could possibly want from a, a cb 
You've got your double pivot here of DMFs. You've got your double AMFs to carry, to dribble, to shoot, to pass, everything, right? And also, if you wanted to do a sub tactic with this, you can put up Messi over here. You can switch Neymar to here and you've got a very meta 4-2-4, right? That's a very popular formation that we already covered at the start of it, but it's just a slight variation on it depending on how you want to set up your squad. And also, if your opponent starts to man mark or tight mark Messi or Neymar and push out on you a little bit, this sub tactic keeps him honest. Now, obviously, you would have to swap Koulibaly into a central position here to keep that central spine of their three CBs, okay? And then, of course, you can obviously switch Vieira and Kante back to DMFs or CMFs depending on how you want to set them up, right? So that brings us on to our last formation and setup, right? This formation is probably the most popular at the moment, and it is used by pretty much 95% of the top 500, right? Let's just talk through it and spend a little bit more time. Three CBs, right? Obviously, you can put in any meta player that you have here. Araujo, Tamiyashu, Nesta, it doesn't matter. These are just, you know... Um, placeholders for whatever players you actually like to use. Essentially what you want is your three CBs and another right back or left back uh, masquerading as a right back but is really a centre back. How many times are we going to repeat that? It's worth repeating all the time, right? You've also got your ball stopper, your ball um, chaser or disruptor and your link between your three men up front and then you've got your meta three, okay? So you've got your meta three centre backs, you've got your two man here with a third there and you've got your meta three centre forward system there. And we're using Klopp here, right? Because we want to out, outscore our um, opponent. That's essentially what we want to do every, every single time that we're using this. So here we have the top one rank currently in eFootball League at the moment, okay? And you're seeing a modified 3-4-3. Now, a couple of sub-tactics possibly come into this setup, right? But it's all about that meta 3 CB. We've had the meta 3 DMF. We had that featured in like two formations ago. You can go back and check that out. It's about maybe a minute back. You've also got Pirlo playing as a CMF, but it's all about that meta 3 center back, that meta 3 center forward, and three banks of three. And then that's basically what is going to be happening. It's very narrow. There's no wing play unless you manually do it. And this is the top one rank in the world. Now, we did mention about like sub tactics and a couple of mind games going on, right? Marios Greek Mafia here is the number two current rank, right? And you will see Kante left back, De Jong CB, Araujo and Puyol, okay? Bit of mind games going on, right? You've got Kiesa and Messi up front. You know that you're going to have your meta three center forwards or your one SS, your two center forwards. You're going to have your ball winner, which is Pirlo, and you're going to have your do-it-all ball carrier, ball passer, ball dribbler, ball shooter in Cruyff. And then, of course, you've got Vieira as groundskeeper Willie, mopping up everything like a high school janitor, right? So there is probably a little bit of mind games going on here as to what is his chosen formation um, and his personnel. But as I said, you don't need to focus too much on this. This is built for one purpose only, right? It's like the Urukai in Lord of the Rings. Pure destruction, lads. That's all it's built for, man. It's to get the ball up to your top three as quickly as you possibly can, and then boom, 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 three players that can shoot. You add in Cruyff and Pirlo that can shoot. Five players that can finish you off and just be like assassins in the night, right? So if you already get the ball into the box with somebody like this, like Chiesa or Mario or Messi, it's probably good night, Irene, okay? So again, it's nice to look at this as the number two rank in the world. Now, number three in the world actually has a slight variation to his 4-3-3, but it follows the same pattern, right? There will be a couple of alterations here and there based on just personal preference, right? There's no real difference between having Son in the position he's in compared to him having him a little bit left or a little bit more central, right? Eto and Messi up front, Schneider and Nedved. Again, you've got your ball winner, you've got your uh, Mr. Energizer Bunny and Nedved, Gilberto Silva protecting the back line. Araujo is playing as a right back here, but I would say that that would be swapped to a three at the back with Candela having a bit of a free reign, or maybe just switching it up. It depends on the sub tactic that this guy might be using, right? But again, you follow the same pattern. You've got Gilberto Silva, you've got Son, Eto, Messi, and this is a very star driven team that's playing with Klopp, right? So that is number three in the world. Number four in the world is using probably the most popular formation, the one that we said is the most popular and that has kind of grown. A little bit more again since the last update. This was probably the most popular formation, I'd say, for the last maybe 12 months, right? Valbuena uh, playing a 4-2-1-3.
And again, you've got your three centre forwards. You've got Pirlo, Vieira and Hullet. Can do it all in midfield. No weaknesses. Koulibaly, Maldini, Trent and Nuno Mendes. I would say that there's probably a bit of alterations going on here with who he picks to have his starting lineup. His bench is probably stacked. And I would say he probably goes a little bit more central with Leao and Salah. Uh, with a sub tactic probably just a slight narrow variation with his sub tactic here but this was one that has been used since eFootball has actually come out so it's a very solid very meta type of formation with that 4-2-1-3 let me know in the comments below if you guys use 4-2-1-3 a lot and keep it as narrow as possible and then the top five rank in the world currently is using a couple of oldie but goodie cards but we keep going back to that meta back three center backs Costa Corta, Tommy Eshu, Maldini, you've got your double pivot Pirlo and Vieira. So the five formations that we talked about, it's kind of a mixture of a few of these, but they always go back to what works, right? This is a flat 4-2-2-2 in terms of the formation, but there's a lot more going on here because you've got a slight variation with Neymar as a left, but Messi is a right midfielder that's playing as an attacking midfielder. Araujo is down as a right back, but essentially, as we've already discussed and figured out, a lot of these guys are using right backs that play as centre backs. Puyol, um, you know, Timber, Araujo, any of those guys, right? Tommy Ashu. So Mbappe and Hullet are going to be doing all the damage up front. Hullet's going to be your target man, but can also play on the ground, very aggressive. And Mbappe is your speedster, shooting with Messi and Neymar beautiful so yeah all right lads, so that is it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm trying to kind of broaden out my content a little bit and make it a little bit more interactive and talk you through some of the stuff right if you guys want any videos done in this style or you want to know anything right and you don't check out the live streams i would recommend you do pop into the live stream when we do stream monday thursday and friday um but get in touch in the comments below Share the video, like the video, I do appreciate it. And depending on when I upload this, we'll probably be doing a big giveaway for our 40,000 subscriber special, okay? Um, but yeah, get in touch with the comments below. I'm open to, you know, helping anybody that needs help with in terms of understanding stuff, whether you're a beginner or you're looking to take your game to the next level, right? A lot of the, a lot of the functionality of the formations, once you have a proper setup that works for you and you've got the right team in your place, it's just about grinding, man. It's just about time, right? And pumping in the games and getting results against, you know, similar players that are able to push you into the top rank. So yeah, any requests, get in touch in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.